Shalom everyone, it's Parashat Re'e, and today we're going to talk about an interesting concept that the Torah describes. The Torah commands the Jewish people to go into the Temple Mount, into the Temple itself, when it will be rebuilt later on in the history of the Jewish people, and to bring the food, sacrifices, and then there is a very interesting commandment. It says, Va'achaltem sham lifnei Hashem, and you shall eat the food in front of Hashem, usmachtem lifnei Hashem elokechem, and you shall rejoice and you shall be happy in front of Hashem. At first glance, this commandment is very, very enigmatic. The Temple Mount and the Temple, the Beit HaMikdash, is the house of God. And it seems to be very unsettling that you're going to bring your own little picnic and your own little barbecue and you're going to eat there in the sanctuary, in the sanctuary of the temple with everyone else and just eat there. This is the holy place. It's not that you will eat in the holy of the holiest, but still the entire temple mount is holy. Jerusalem is holy. Is that the right place to have a family picnic with your children, with your wife, with your husband, with your grandparents? It seems to be very out of place in a way for the facade or the perception that we have for the temple. But I would like to suggest that it's exactly the opposite. If we go back to the book of Exodus, Sefer Shmot. The famous conversation between Moshe and Pharaoh. After Pharaoh saw that Hashem is punishing him with the plagues and everything, he says to Moshe, you know what, okay, I will let you go. But who should go? You say, Moshe, that you want to take the Jewish people to serve God. So who would go? And Moshe says, oh, we will go with our children, with our wives, with our daughters and sisters and brothers, everyone, the entire family. And Pharaoh says, what are you talking about? Only the men should go. What is the conversation here? In a way, Pharaoh represents the pagan world. If you want to serve God, it's only men. And you need to do it while you are terrified and while you pretend to be holy. You can't do anything that it's mundane in front of your God. Where Moshe presents a totally different perspective on religion. Our religion is the religion of the family, of multi-generational connection that are committed and passionate about tradition and God. And what we do in front of Hashem is we do everything in front of Hashem. Because Hashem is not only at the temple and then when we go home, we have no Hashem in our lives. We eat in front of Hashem. We laugh in front of Hashem. We learn in front of Hashem. We give tzedakah in front of Hashem. And we do business in front of Hashem. What the Torah demands us is that we come to the temple. We bring food. And we do the most physical action. We eat, but we eat in front of Hashem. When you eat with the notion that Hashem is with you, you will recite words of Torah. Your food itself will be almost like a sacrifice. And you will know that the religious connection between you and Hashem applies on every area of your life. If you would ask what is one of the most distinguishing things between Judaism and all other religions, is that our religion is not confined only in the holy places. Everywhere we go, we create holiness. The way we conduct our lives should be in a holy way, so Hashem can dwell with us. Yes, we have special places of gathering that perhaps has even more holiness. 
but the holiness comes from us. And that's where our tradition and our religion is so different. We bring our families, we bring our food to a holy place because everything we do should be holy. And this is a tremendous message for us, especially before Chodesh Elul, the month of Elul, that we prepare ourselves for the high holidays. We create holiness. We take mundane things, simple things, and we sanctify them. We do have the power to do it and to have the feeling that we are in front of Hashem in everything we do. Thank you.